welcome back to my youtube channel and another video i've got my coffee um i've just obviously got back from b&m and home bargains as you can see from the title this is a haul for there and it was a bit unexpected actually recently i mean we've lived in this house for nearly two years now which has flown by obviously we was here through lockdown and everything else so i think that when we moved in we obviously made it a home but we didn't really think much about it and I think the main reason is because we were in lockdown and we couldn't just go to the shops that easy and buy stuff and get inspiration and I think because we were just at home all the time with the kids like we, we didn't really like want to spend time like doing all painting decorating and everything else so I think I've just got to a point now where we were either going to move which is silly because we literally live in a big enough house and it's literally a house that I'd want to live in for the next few years it's got four bedrooms we've got like a a lot of space and it's over three floors so even more space and it would just seem silly to move so I think we're gonna stay put for a few more years we've got if you don't obviously follow my channel already I've got two little boys Spencer is four and Albie is two and they've got their own bedroom I've got my own dressing room and then on the top floor we've got our bedroom and an ensuite that's not me obviously like bragging saying I've got this and that it's just I'm just telling you that just the perspective of the space that we've got we've got a lovely big garden which obviously you want for kids and a drive and it's quite nice where we live as well the only thing is is that it's not far from a town centre and I grew up in a village so I sort of miss the sort of villagey vibes but where we live you wouldn't think we was next to a town centre because it's really like quiet and I mean if you can hear drilling in the background it's because we live in a new build and I think they're just finishing off the last bits which should be done within the next month and then we'll have a nice peaceful house and area to live in because ever since we moved in there has been more houses being built so that's the only drawback to new builds if you're moving into a new build just make sure your house is one of the last ones and you're not just stuck listening to builders and drills and yeah but this summer we should have a nice peaceful summer and be able to sit in the garden without listening to all of that but I am digressing I'm having my coffee because I've literally well I've put Albie up to bed for his nap Spencer is at nursery and yeah I just thought I'd show you what I've got I don't usually obviously do sort of like home sort of sort of things but I think I'm going to start incorporating it into my videos because now I'm going to try and like obviously change up my house a little bit. I can kind of show you within my vlogs because I do vlogs anyway. So yeah, I can do a bit of home, a bit of fashion and a bit of days in the life. Why not incorporate all into one? Because it is my life after all. So first I went to B&M. There is literally one five minutes from me where they've got the B&M home bargains, the range and Matalan as well because they do have a few home bits in Matalan and then I always look on Marketplace on Facebook I don't know about you but I always do and I found a bed on there and it's a cream velvet like a sort of Chesterfield bed and it's really really tall like the headboard is huge and it's a nice creamy colour and they were literally selling it for 150 quid and I was like that is a bargain and you know when you can tell from the picture that the house is obviously like lovely and you don't obviously if you saw someone ad advertise something on marketplace and it didn't look very nice you might not be inclined to buy it when it's a when it's like something like a bed or a piece of furniture because you're going to be literally like using it every single day but yeah it looked lovely and I was a bit cheeky and I messaged them and asked if they would take 120 pounds which I thought <laughs> was definitely cheeky because 150 pounds for this bed I was quite shocked anyway but you know you've got to have a bit of a barter haven't you because at the moment we've got a crushed velvet bed which is just not a vibe for me anymore so yeah when I saw it I was like oh maybe it's meant to be so then I picked that up last night and then that got my brain ticking that we need to change up the bedroom because we have not really done anything with the bedroom since we moved in so yeah i've waffled on for so long i'm gonna get into the video now i just wanted to give you a bit of a backstory as to why i bought these things and what i'm planning to do with each room but i think i might do a video of showing you before and after so if you do subscribe you can watch that afterwards so yeah i'm gonna start with b m and what i got from there and i'll do room by room 
So first of all, a while ago, we had a really lovely clock on our kitchen wall and it fell off. <laughs> so it fell off and it broke and the dials just came off. So I bought a cheap alternative, which, you know, when you look at it now, you think, why would I even buy that as an alternative? Like it's literally not even what I would go for, but I think it was like six quid. So I thought, oh, I'll just get it for now. I, don't, I really don't know why, because clocks are not even expensive. Um, and I saw this one today and I just thought it's so much better. It's literally just like a nice like wooden on the inside. Then it's obviously got like the silver rim round it. And it is quite big as you can see next to me. It's a nice size I think for a kitchen. Um, and it's quite a big wall as well. So I didn't want something too small, which the one that I've got temporarily is small. So again, I don't know why I got that. But yeah, this is literally 12 pounds. You can just see it like a little bit better obviously it's got like the glass over it to protect it it's got the bit of black in and the wood um which the bits that i've bought from b&m are the same sort of vibe so i thought this would go really nice in the kitchen as an alternative it's so pretty and 12 pound i just think what a bargain and they did have a few left in as well and we'll see on the clip that I obviously inserted before this video of all the bits that I saw whilst I was there. I tried to get as much as I could on there for you as well. And the next bits that I got, so one of my friends, she saw these in B&M. Now, I really don't know if they are the same. She will watch this video and be like, no, they're not the same, but they're the same sort of style because they have brought out these like stickers, which I'll show you now. So they've brought out these really nice stickers recently, which has obviously got like tea, sugar, coffee, nuts, snacks. You've got pasta, rice and everything on the back. And you see so much recently, don't you, on YouTube, Instagram, organisation, stickers, labels. And I've been trying to organise my kitchen for so long on, I can't remember what day it was now, the other day. I literally sat for two hours in my kitchen, cleared out all the drawers, everything that we didn't need thrown it all away obviously it's stuff that can't be passed on if it's been if it could be recycled we've recycled it and it feels so much better so now I just need some storage organization to just do the finishing touches we've got one of those you know like when you pull a cupboard out and it's from top to bottom like racks as you pull it out we've got one of them so I just think if I get the right storage and stickers put in there and you can just grab it and see everything you've got, it'll be a million times better. So these stickers are literally £2 and you get obviously quite a lot of different ones. They're just so nice, classic. I think it's some, something that will not go out of like trend quickly because the font is quite plain. For the tea, coffee and sugar, these are the canisters that I got, which are obviously like the glass canisters in the bamboo stand set of three which 10 pound that's literally like just over three pound each so i'll get them out so you can see because they are stunning and how cute are those like can you imagine as well with the little stickers on the front like so nice i just love the stand like i didn't actually know they came in a stand because when i saw the box i was like oh the canisters and then he's like comes with a with a bamboo stand i was like fantastic so yeah i really love those 10 pound again there was lots of those as well because it is like the new natural home collection that they've got in b&m at the moment which i think everybody is just going crazy for so yeah that was those and the next thing that i got was this cute little it's actually a napkin holder Obviously, like the little basket, you've got like the gap there, which was three pounds. You've got the cute little handle. And I didn't actually get this for napkins because, I mean, I don't think many people have a basket for napkins, do they, in the kitchen? Because I don't, but it would be cute. I get the vibe. But I was thinking more for like to put it on the side with like the keys in. You could just put like car keys in, house keys, whatever, you know, just like little bits and bats that you just get out every day. And that's what I got that for. I just thought for £3 on the side, it would just look really cute. But next up are these canisters that I got for the, like the pasta, the rice and things. They're literally, these ones are plastic, which I don't mind to be honest, because you can't tell. And they've still got the same sort of vibe, same sort of bamboo on the top. And they're quite big as well. And these were £4 each, which I thought was really good. So I literally got two of those. 
pasta, rice, I can put them in my pull out cupboard and they're literally just there. Obviously we've got the labels to stick on as well. So my partner Jamie uses a lot of spices. He does, I would say, most of the cooking in the house. We do use HelloFresh, which has changed our lives. If you haven't used HelloFresh, just try it. If you struggle for meal ideas and you're a family or even just a single couple, it has changed our life because we used to argue about what we was having for tea all of the time and then it would turn out there'd be something that we didn't have in the cupboard for it and we'd have to go to the shop for it. So we get HelloFresh and we love it. And we do use a lot of spices. Obviously everything comes with HelloFresh, but Jamie cooks chilli a lot and he cooks other things. And there might be times with HelloFresh where we add our own little spices or herbs. And we do have them in our pull-out cupboards that I mentioned in one of the sections, all of them there. But when I saw this, I was like, this is cute. Like this can go on the side with the spices, but it'll look nice. But I think this is cute because it's not very wide. It's the perfect size. Obviously, again, it's got like the bamboo and the black. And obviously, it just goes with everything that I've got. The cute little basket sort of vibe. And I thought you can literally just push this to the back of your wall and have the spices on. But it just adds a bit of sort of... I don't know, it just adds something nice to your kitchen rather than it being empty. Because we've got like a side of a worktop next to the cooker on the right-hand side where there's no plugs. So we don't have a toaster or a kettle there or anything. And we just have it like a salt and pepper thing. So I just thought instead I could put that there, put some spices on it, it'll just look a bit cosier in the kitchen. And that was eight pounds, so not bad for that. And then I got a matching, so this is sort of like, a, well, this is actually classed as a cutlery holder. As you can see, it's got the sections on it. Um, it is the same as this, so it is sort of like the same vibe, but I have actually got this for the sink. So I want to put this next to the sink so I can put the, hand washing the washing up liquid in the big bit and then in the slots just put like the sponge and i've got this as well which is uh, obviously one of those sort of like refillable brushes which again it's got the bamboo on the top and i just thought i can put that in here stand it up in here and then we've got like the the scour washing up liquid it just looks, looks a bit nicer because at the moment my washing up liquid is just on the side and I hate it, you know, and you can just see it there. And sometimes I put it under the sink, but then it's annoying when I'm washing up because I have to get it back out. So with this, I can literally fill it up with washing up liquid, put it in there thinking about it. I don't even need washing up liquid in here. So I could just put this in um, and hand wash and then it's just nice and clean, but also stylish at the same time. And the, this is actually only six pounds, which I thought was a bargain. Um, so yeah, you could use this for loads of different things in your kitchen. Could even use it in your bathroom like you could switch it up a little bit the next thing was these gorgeous tea towels how pretty are these like these will be just for best so you know when you have like a tea towel that you just want to have on display <laughs> and not use that much because obviously i've got two kids so they will not be touching these i was looking for some black ones that were the same but they didn't have any in there but i'm wondering if they do because i'll probably use the black ones more often and the kids can use them as well but have these like kind of looking pretty um obviously i will still use them and these were these have a price on it's a two pack um look on the receipt um oh they were four pound four pound for two so it's two pound each which the quality is really nice you can tell they're a bit thicker than a normal one and i just thought the tassels were a really cute touch so yeah those are four pound yeah the last little bits that i got from b&m so it was this duvet set obviously i mentioned that i've got a new bed so i've got some nice crisp white bedding which has got this sort of like waffling material and then it's got like the i think it's got the waffle in the middle so the waffles in the middle and then you've got like obviously the normal cotton material at the bottom and the top and it was reduced from 15 pounds to a tenner so literally 10 pound for this there's quite a lot in the reduced section and i think you can't go wrong with the plain white it's nice and sort of it's not too thick obviously with spring summer coming up as well that was in my thought process and jamie's quite particular with like duvet covers he doesn't like certain materials and this is the material that, that i know he likes and it comes with two pillowcases as well so yeah i just thought that'd be really nice and then i'm gonna get like a nice sort of throw for the bed 
and obviously like the cushions and stuff but yeah that, these are the sort of things that i want to show you because like my kitchen's going to change a little bit for adding these and then obviously the bedroom's going to change quite a lot and then i want to go on to my dressing room because my dressing room's kind of been left a bit and it's pink and whites and creams and i want to take the pink out i think and then yeah i can just sort of show you like bits and pieces of my house because I do enjoy doing things with my house and it is part of my life so I think if I'm showing my life on YouTube I might as well show you those bits as well and I know I enjoy watching other people's um, so yeah that was a bargain I just thought a tenner can be just like one of many that we have um, but I just thought for now because when you get a new bed you want new bed in dirty straight away so that was that so the last bits that I got were just literally the cleaning bits like the pink can't go wrong with a bit of the pink bathroom foam cleaner the toilet cleaner and then this is my favorite the carpet fresh i just love it like you do a really good carpet clean spray a bit of this on and the smell your carpet just feels like new again it's amazing so i picked up that and then i just got some new microfiber sponges um because obviously you've got like that that side you've got your scourer and cleaning products just make life better so that was b&m and in total there i spent only 72 pound 22 which for all of that that i've just shown you i think is pretty damn good um so i'm going to move on to home bargains now so home bargains was slightly smaller but i still got some really like significant pieces in this shop so the first thing that i got with obviously we're telling you about the living room we've changed things around etc We've got something on the wall which is grey and now I look at it I'm like I don't know why I bought that because I'm just really not a fan now and I wanted something to replace it now I think I'm going to get some wall prints for that wall but in the meantime or I could put the prints somewhere else anyway I saw these in the in her bargains which is a pack of three gold mirrors so it's just got like the three so we've got the big the two small and I just thought they would look quite cute on the wall, wouldn't they? Like, I think they were only cheap. I think that's kind of what drew me in as well. Um, they were eight ninety nine for all three, which I think is really cheap. And I'll get them out. How nice they are. Like, you've just got that tiny touch of gold. In fact, I've just noticed that that's even smaller, so that's better. Because on the picture, it looks like... It looks like there's two the same size and then a big one, but they're not, so that is better. So I just thought they look really nice on the wall. Um, $8.99 as well, you literally can't go wrong. And then it's a bit annoying really, because obviously I showed you that I bought this for like keys and stuff. £3, it's still cheap, but then I saw this in Home Bargains, which I do all the time. Like you go in one, don't you? And then you find it in the other and it's like annoying. And I found this cute little heart one. Like how nice is that? It's a bit deeper as well. But you know when you just see it, I don't know if it's like the wicker sort of vibe that pulls me in. But yeah, I just saw this and I really liked it. And then I thought, well, I might as well get both because this was, this was 2 99 So they were pretty much the same price and they're the same sort of, obviously, um, same sort of wicker, same sort of pattern. Um... So I don't know, I might put one in my kitchen, I might have one in the living room, like I could maybe just like put it on top of there or something, but I just don't really know what to put in it. I'm trying to think what I would put in it, but I really want it on show because I think it's cute. So yeah, that was £2.99. And then obviously with the bamboo theme, you've probably picked up, I saw this <laughs> in Home Bargains, which I mean, a duster, because a lot of the time, like, for example this and like the tables i use those antibacterial wipes which i will still do but you know sometimes when you just want a little dust and you can just dust around like i've had like cloth dusters in the past and i just throw them away because they just go a bit minging but with this i just thought i mean it looks cute but i can also just like potter around the house like oh there's a bit of dust in here a bit of dust in there like cute and this was only this was 249 so yeah again another bargain and then like the last sort of big thing that I got, which will make a big difference in the bedroom. Oh, I just realised I've got my coffee in between stuff and it's just it's gone cold. Yeah, the last sort of thing I got was these stunning lamps. How nice are these? Like, how nice. I would actually love to have this in my living room. However, we've already got that one behind me. 
which we got from Ikea, which Jamie chose. He really loved it. Now, there's a fine line because there's a lot of things that Jamie doesn't like. He's not a massive fan of this sort of thing, but he is a man. But when it comes together like this, at first he was like, I don't like them. But now when he sees it, he likes it. So I do compromise a bit. And when I'm thinking of things, I do think of him. And I did see some lovely bedside tables at the start of this video when I was shopping, like little side tables and they had like a basket for the table part and it was wicker and the black legs. And I just thought, oh my God, they'd be so nice in the bedroom, but I didn't want to push it. So I actually did think in the end to save money as well to paint our bedside tables because they're gray. So I'm thinking I might paint them black and get some nice gold handles on them and then have this on top. Um, and then obviously I have like a bit of like, a bit of like a cute little like pampas arrangement just to break up the black a little bit. But obviously we've got the cream bed so it wouldn't be too much black. But these, I just think, how nice are they? Like so nice. Obviously I got two. And I think Jamie would love these. I think this is sort of Jamie's vibe. Like if I'd have got something that was too, like I saw some sort of lantern ones and I just thought, no, I wouldn't really like that. So I wanted to get something that we both like because it is his house as well. And I don't want to just make him have something he doesn't like. And these were really cheap. You'll be surprised actually. These were actually cheaper than I remember, $9.99. Don't these look more expensive than $9.99? Like literally, I think these look about 30 quid more. Um, and the bulb, like how nice is the bulb? Like really nice. So yeah, I was really, really, really happy with these. I'm so glad that I got them. Saw a few options and then when I saw them, I was like, oh yeah. And then obviously like I just got some glass lights for the table because our table in the kitchen is glass, which was children. Not a good idea, but it looks nice. It looks nice. And luckily we won't have to get a new table. I wasn't planning on anyway, but the legs are like an oak and then the top's glass. So that just fits in with any sort of theme trend that you get anyway, I guess. And yeah, so in home bargains, I spent 40 pounds. So obviously that was the lamps and then these, and I got some mini eggs and some wipes as well. Um, so yeah, I did also get some of these because where I don't have to put nails in the wall, I won't. And with those gold mirrors, I thought I could just use these and put them on the wall um, and some other bits as well. So yeah, all in all, obviously I spent just over £110 for all of that, which I think is amazing. Like I've basically got so many things there to change my room or two rooms because it's kitchen and bedroom completely. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing more home sort of videos as well because I just think I might as well incorporate them in. And if you do like them, let me know. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give me a follow on my Instagram. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.